I'm still so sore from yesterday's workout so bad. So I'm gonna start today off with a little morning stretch. Back into the middle, back to tabletop position. That stretch was just what I needed. I'm actually feeling way better. So I always forget like to stretch. <laughs> I'm not very flexible anymore. And I just find it like, I don't know. I never really make time for it. I just make time to work out. And then I always forget about it. But today I was insanely sore, like terribly. Um, and so Sebastian did a morning stretch this morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do one too. So I actually feel much better. Like, look at me, look at me go. I feel so like <sighs> loose now. Um, good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day eight. I am looking probably the same as I always look when I <laughs> start my vlogs. Not the best, um, but I am gonna do like run through my makeup routine later today. So if you guys wanna stick around for that, definitely do so. But yeah, so we'll get ready at some point today, but I just wanted to say good morning. I'm about to make us some breakfast and I woke up a little bit later this morning, like 7.45 because last night, we were watching Survivor. Well, I think you guys saw till like 11. But then I remembered that I didn't edit my vlog. And so instead of just going to bed, I was like, you know what? I made a bad decision in watching Survivor until way too late. So I have to get my work done. So I'm gonna stay up and do it. And I went to bed at two. So surprisingly, I feel really great. <laughs> I was like not tired at all the whole time editing. I just had on, I just had um, some YouTube videos on while I was waiting for it to like process and do all the boring stuff. So that was nice. Um, and yeah, I don't feel as tired. I mean, obviously I slept in a little bit, but I feel really great. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes. But yeah, I'm gonna make us some breakfast, probably another smoothie. Sorry, there's like, my hair's bugging me. Probably another smoothie. I've been really liking them. So hopefully I can keep that up and some hard boiled eggs and then that will be that um so yeah today is tuesday so we have to record the podcast today i have a few like work things i need to get done and who knows what else but i woke up this morning so happy that my christmas tree is in my room so if you didn't watch that yesterday we put our little tree up i don't think i showed a good visual of it so tonight when i go upstairs and it's all nice and cozy um i will show you because i do need to read i didn't read anything yesterday so i need to read a lot of my book today so i really want to try to finish it it's honestly not as bad um as i thought i was it was going to be but it's pretty much like a lesser exciting version of verity <laughs> in but like not the same story but just kind of that like you think one thing and then you realize another. I don't know if that's making sense, but um, so it's pretty good. It's not as like captivating, um, but that's okay. I'm still enjoying it, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling now and make me some breakfast. Frozen berries. Oh my god, that just went all over the floor. Put a tiny little scoop of Chobani, just plain Greek yogurt. I know some people don't like it in there, but I really like it in smoothies, so do a tiny little bit. And then some coconut water, so really easy, but I made this one yesterday and it was delicious. And then lastly, I like to just put in, after it's like really mixed up, I put in a couple scoops of this Vital Proteins Collagen Powder. I love it. And some chia seeds. And then there is your smoothie. I swear it tastes like a berry yogurt parfait because you have like the raspberries, the blueberries, and the yogurt. It's really yummy. So there's breakfast. The time has come to get ready for the day. I'm in my room so that Sebastian can do his Instagram live. <laughs> I'm hoping. I don't know why I always think people can hear me, but I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, so I thought we could do our makeup together. If you were getting ready for the day, pause the video, get yourself sorted, and let's have a chat. Um, I'm just starting off with 
it's not a primer but i use it as kind of a primer it's this i've talked about it so many times and it's almost gone it's the l'oreal paris true lumi glotion and this one is in the shade 902 it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world it makes my makeup just absolutely stunning and glowing you can already see like the tiniest little shimmer it is just the best so it just like helps especially in the summer because i'm not like or no are we in the winter <laughs> especially in the winter when i'm not self tanning and i'm not like i don't know my skin is a little bit more dull this just adds a layer of like life to my skin i guess and i just couldn't love it anymore i love it so much i know this isn't the best lighting because you can't really see this side of my face but i figure i'll have everything linked down below um so you can try it for yourself and i'll chat through and then at the end i'll kind of show you a better view but i just thought this could be casual and we could chill out and chat um i'm gonna conceal a tiny little bit i still am like not sure what's happening with my skin it's so frustrating i feel like i have moments that it's really nice and okay and i feel confident in it and there's times where i'm like ugh, it's so hard to like show up when your skin is not treating you right so i'm just gonna conceal a little bit with the elf 16 hour camo concealer and this one is a little bit light for me so i literally have to do the tiniest amount and it honestly goes such a long way anyway so i try not to be like too heavy-handed but i'll just conceal a tiny bit i like to conceal before i put on my foundation because it is like lighter so i feel like it messes things up if it's on top oh my god i'm not gonna be able to sit like this so i'm gonna have to hurry up um me and sebastian are actually gonna go downtown because I have this nice little spot by my lip that is always the best like why why does that happen <laughs> um we are gonna go pick up my christmas present so talked about it a couple vlogs ago we meant to do this on saturday but they closed early so we figured today is a pretty good like i said it was busy but <laughs> we're just gonna make it work um it's kind of like the best day for us to go down and do it so um, we're gonna go do that which I'm looking forward to we're not gonna be down there for long So it's not like it's gonna be an adventure or anything. It's just gonna be literally one stop but when you work from home and all of that it's nice to be able just to like I don't know get out of the house and as you guys know, we've been quarantining I don't, It's like a hard word to say <laughs> We've been quarantining um, For the last 10 days because well first off I'm using my ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer i love this i talked about it in my favorites video it's just like the prettiest moisturizer ever it gives me such a pretty even glow and not super it's honestly not super light like i say that in the best way like it feels really nice as a tinted moisturizer and it gives me like really really great coverage um but as you guys know we've been staying in our house because my mom actually she tested positive for covid coronavirus what's it called i don't know <laughs> coronavirus and that happened um the sunday after thanksgiving and so maybe you guys were kind of i don't know it's not that i didn't want to talk about it when it happened all last week but now that i know that she's like okay and she can go back to work now and she's like you know on the up and up i feel like i can talk about it a little more but it honestly was really hard for me <laughs> and I feel like I could definitely cry if I were to talk about this but I just didn't want to um so that's why we've been staying in our house and yeah thankfully everyone's good now everyone's fine um but I just didn't want to talk about it and it literally happened like right when vlogmas was starting and I felt like Ugh, I don't know what to say or I don't I just felt like I don't know I think there's lots of people out there that have a fear of like their parents dying or not being here and i think because my dad did pass away you know like at such a young age i feel like i'm so protective of my mom and so when she tested positive it was just like you just i don't know i think a lot of people and especially on the internet a lot of people will say like oh it's nothing it's just like a flu which you know thankfully for my mom she just lost <laughs> I say this in a laughing way, but it's really sad and really scary, but she lost all of her taste and all of her smell and it's, I'm pretty sure it's still gone. Um, she hasn't updated me, so I was calling her every single day to check how she was because it's one of those things that like, 
I just checked in every single day to make sure she was okay because you never know what this could do to you and it's very like I don't know unpredictable and I just needed to make sure that she was okay every day but yeah she basically just lost all of her taste all of her smell still is the case and so thankfully for her it wasn't even bad um and for a lot of people I know they'll say it's not bad which is huge a huge huge relief um and I don't want to get too much into all of this because it's like I don't know everyone has their own opinions and I think that that's great and fine um but for a lot of people people are getting really sick and we've known people that have been in the hospital and we've known people that have had family members pass away and so it was just so scary <laughs> really really was scary and I'm just so thankful that she's okay and that my little sister is okay and that yeah we're okay it's just one of those things where I think for the last probably like four months maybe ever since we went to Seattle we kind of became super relaxed with all of this and I understand that at some point everyone's gonna be exposed to it everyone is gonna get it I get that but I think that we were just me and Smash and we're just kind of living in this space of like oh everything's fine it's not gonna come to us it's not gonna touch us we are hanging out with friends a lot we're inviting people over we're doing all these things we're going to all these stores we're not we're going on a trip like we weren't being I don't know we were kind of being a little careless and I feel like this situation with my mom just kind of like snapped me back into reality of like oh people are still getting sick and oh people can still get really sick and I need to be careful and I want my family to be careful so I don't know um so yeah thankfully she's okay and that's all that matters to me um so now I feel like I can talk about it because I felt like I didn't want to talk about it because it was just like for the last week I have just been so anxious and so nervous and a lot of my anxiety stems from that like losing a parent and it's not even just her like I get anxiety anything that's like health based like that's where it's really really like hard with me like if I don't feel good or if I think like I constantly think I have something wrong with me because I just get so much anxiety and I just want to be healthy and live a long time and I want everyone around me to be healthy and live a long time so things like this like the coronavirus and the pandemic and all this has been really hard for me because yeah I'm just that's where my anxiety stems from it's just like ugh, not being in control of my body my health my life like we just Ugh, I hate it so much. I hate it so so much. So anyway, um yeah, I would just talk to my mom now and so she's feeling good and she's able to go back to work like I said. And so me and Sebastian are gonna go um run those errands and uh yeah, it's just been I don't know, this last week has just been like bleh, scary. <laughs> and I don't really know why I just word vomited all of that to you, but I think I've just been holding it in because I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because I want her to be in the clear and everything's fine. And I know for a lot of people that that's not the case and people are either still struggling or have people that are sick or have lost people and it's just terrible. It's just a really, really hard year and it makes me sad that we've all had to go through this on so many different like I don't know degrees whether you're dealing with someone being sick or if you're dealing with like mental health or if you're dealing with a loss of work like i just think there's so much going on this year that it's just really like ugh, i don't know so anyway i don't really know where that came from but i just wanted to check in because i haven't been able to and youtube is a huge part of my life and this pandemic has just been like our whole year and i haven't really had anything like this close so it's just i don't know i want to be able to document it for myself and just to know that like we went through this it was very scary it snapped us back into reality me and Sebastian are still being very careful and I don't know it's one of those things where it's like dang it you know like we were having so much fun having like being reckless and having all of our friends over and being able to see people and not being worried about it and then it's like something like this happens and it snaps us back into reality and it's like oh dang it like I don't know I'm missing my friends I miss all these things I don't know so anyway that is my word vomit um while I was doing all of that I think I was frantically doing my makeup because it's making me anxious <laughs> chatting about things so I'll just go over it I told you that I used my tinted moisturizer which I love I haven't even really looked at what my makeup looks like I just chucked it on um and then I do the tiniest 
this little bit of this hourglass ambient um, little powder. It's really nice. It kind of like, I don't, I don't feel like it like sets my makeup perfectly, but it just gives it a little something, a little shine. And then um, for my bronzer, I'm using the Chanel. I can never pronounce it, but it's just the little cream bronzer from them absolutely adore this so much i've fallen back into love with this burt's bees all the glow um cream blush oh my goodness i love it so so much so i did that on my cheeks just a little bit and then for my highlighter i've been loving the jaclyn hill balm loose highlighter these are absolutely stunning so i use the balm one love it like i said i'll have everything linked down below um and then i'm about to do my eyes and my eyes are so easy i feel like for the last couple of years i've really dialed back my makeup um i'm just gonna use this cream bronzer from wet n wild i love it so much but i just take my little brush and i put it on my eye it's like a really pretty color and because my bronzer is cream i love to have like just incorporate kind of those same textures and products into my makeup but i don't want to use my chanel one <laughs> so this is like a nice dupe for it so i use it on my eyes um anyway so for the last couple of years yeah i've just been dialing back my makeup and it just feels more like me i don't know i just really like a, a fresh look and especially when i have to like be on camera and i like to take a lot of pictures and be on instagram stories like it's nice to feel like put together um but at the same time, like, I don't want to be, like, under all these, all this, like, makeup. Even though I think that that's fine if you love to, like, get glam and stuff like that. And I do, too. It's really fun. But for everyday stuff, it's just nice to just, like, look like yourself and just feel good and not have too much on. I don't know if that makes sense. But that's just kind of where I'm at. I just did my eyelashes and my brows off camera because... I don't know <laughs> it's like boring um so for mascara this is actually an old one for me but it's the artistry studio nyc edition my friend mckaylee actually dropped this off at my house probably like beginning of the year i think is when she did that so i just actually finished that one up um and it's good i actually like it um it was it's replacing the one that i usually use that i haven't picked up yet so i figured i would just finish that one out before i got a new one and then for my brows, nothing has really changed. I'm still using the Maybelline New York Brow Ultra Slim. I love that pencil. And then to set my brows, I have the NYX Control Freak. So that is going to be that. I That is my makeup. I don't have um, any lipstick on because I'm going to eat lunch <laughs> before we go. So normally I just do like an easy nude lip which i'll show you later when we get in the car um but yeah that is my look today i was gonna do something with my hair but then i'm like honestly i might just like tuck it into my turtleneck and call it easy and good um so yeah thank you guys for letting me chat your ear off and i know we didn't talk about anything fun <laughs> but i just wanted to give an update on my mom and just fill you guys in because at the end of the day this is why i do youtube is to just share my life and yeah i was just going through something really scary and not fun and so it's nice to be able just to fill you guys in and just share a little bit i think that's what like connects us and all of that it's fun to talk about like i don't know materialistic things but at the end of the day we're all i don't know having like anxieties and care about our family and have situations that are hard and scary and it's nice to sometimes be vulnerable and share those and so yeah i just wanted to be able to share that and i'm just so thankful that she's okay and that everyone's okay and this is in no way me telling you to be afraid of the world or to live your life a certain way if you want to like hang out with friends and be with family that's totally your decision and i just i don't know but i just wanted to share that like we were in that same boat and we realized how important it is to be careful and listen to guidelines and all of that and that's just how me and sebastian choose to now live um I don't know we all want it to go back to normal trust me like i said i miss my friends and my friend just moved into her first like house and i want to see it so bad it's like killing me my friend had a baby and i want to go meet him and see him but it's like i don't know it's just i don't know i just think it's just not worth it while people are getting sick and all of that so anyways i'm still rambling but um i'm all ready now sebastian should be finishing up with his life soon we're gonna eat some lunch and then it's off to downtown and i'm looking forward to it this is what i have on my lips today i just have the ColourPop pop 
little lippy stick. And then the JLo collection in Jennifer's Nude, I think in Jennifer's nude. So that is the lip today. We're officially all ready to go. We're here in the car. Well, it's just me. I, I don't know why I said we, but we're downtown and Sebastian just parked the car in a random spot and went walking to go get my gift. So who knows, but um, I'm excited to be out of the house actually. So I'm glad we were running this errand. It feels nice to get some fresh air and see downtown. There's not much to do. We're not gonna stay down here, but <laughs> the little car journey um, was fun enough. It's way later now, it's like five o'clock. I have just been getting on with some work, some editing things, and yeah, I thought I would end the vlog here. It's already long enough, <laughs> so I figured now's a good time to cut it off for the day. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna be working for the next little bit, and then like I said, I wanna read. I know I didn't show you the tree. Should I show you now? Look at her. Honestly, it's a little... <laughs> To the side so we need to straighten her out a little bit we're not gonna get a star i totally thought we had one but we don't um so that's fine and then i think i want to put a couple more on there um but regardless there it is and i love it so much so hopefully that was worth all the anticipation <laughs> to see our bedroom tree. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye.